Hey there, this is Tarun Gil again from Tarun Gil Fitness, helping all of you with your fitness queries. So first of all, I want to thank you for, for you know, uh, you know, encouraging and, and giving all those positive comments. You know, I'm, I'm glad that, you know, I've been, of, I've been of some help to, to most of you, you know, in term, when it comes to your uh, fitness queries and questions. I'm sure fitness is one subject uh, uh, which is very, very confusing. Uh, people try to complicate it for different things and, you know, you're just pretty confused all this while. So what I do via this channel is I, I, I try to answer all your queries via video blog. So I don't really used to, you know, like to type stuff because I think uh, like if, if I were, if I were, if I were you, if somebody were to type an answer, I would, it, it's not personalized. Uh, and, and I don't think uh, in uh, the problems are such that, you know, it needs elaboration. You, you need that explanation from someone. So having said that, uh, uh, let me quickly take up a question which has come to me from Monica. So Monica says that, uh, you know, hi Tarun, I'm trying to lose weight, I need to lose about 15 to 17 kilos. I've been going to the gym regularly, but I also have a problem of PCOD. Okay, I lost one kg, but then gained back again, need some guidance. So she lost a kg, but again, that weight came back. So need to understand where am I wrong, kindly suggest. So first of all, thank you so much, Monica, for your question. Uh, uh, if in my in my experience, you know, PCOD is something that it, it is very, very common these days. Uh, the kind of people I deal with and the kind of people I coach, you know, two out of every 10 women have PCOD. So, uh, and, and the problem with PCOD is, is the weight gain that, that it actually leads to. So what you're going through is very, very normal. Uh, uh, for other viewers who don't know what PCOD is, um, uh, uh, while I answer Monica's question, I will also share uh, what exactly PCOD is and, and what you can actually do to, uh, to combat PCOD plus how you can actually lose weight uh, while having this because uh, PCOD is as good or, or as bad as having uh, uh, diabetes or any other lifestyle disease. It's just the fact that you need to accept it and work towards it and there are fixes for everything in life. It's just about you and your conviction. So let's go. So the first one uh, I want to uh, talk about is PCOD. What exactly PCOD? So PCOD, I'm sure most of you would know it's called polycystic ovary disease. Some people call it PCOD. Some people call it PCOS. POS is, PCO is nothing but instead of disease, you have a syndrome. Now, what exactly PCOD is and what exactly it does to you? Now, uh, don't go by it because, you know, I wanted to explain it to you in detail. So I've kind of captured four to five odd points. Uh, so number one, you know, it's just a hormonal disorder. Uh, 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 when I say a hormonal disorder, Think of so it could be related to fertility issues, but primarily related to fertility issues. And most of the women who have uh, PCOD, they usually develop male hormones. Now, I'm going to give you an example. Think of it, men. If men were to develop female hormones, which is called the development of male breasts, for that matter, or female characteristics, so the issue would obviously be going to be around the weight gain area, but it would be somewhere between you know male breast issue you know like gyno what is typically called so these issues are tackled you can tackle these issues but you really need to be careful uh, how you can combat these issues so uh, it's very, again i would again i would uh, tell you it's very very normal it's just the way how you want to deal with these issues so uh, what PCOD does is it just uh, makes your body it makes your body very difficult uh, uh, to use that 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 body uh, that, in, that that hormone called insulin I don't know if any one of you what insulin is. Insulin is nothing. Just again, I would like to simplify this for you. So whatever you put in your body gets converted into blood sugar. That's a given. For example, let's say you put a roti or a sabzi or anything. If you recall, the last taste would always be sweet. You know, it's the, the after effect of everything that you eat is sweet. It's nothing but a body is converting everything into blood sugar. So the moment you take that into your body, what it does is there's a body's immediate reaction from pancreas, which releases insulin that you know what, hey, we need to distribute this food to different body parts, wherever it needs energy. And that's the job of insulin. So what PCOD does is somewhat similar to diabetes. So it it's actually what makes you do is it makes you insulin resistant. So the body doesn't understand if there is insulin, where is there is excess, where there is no insulin. So either you're producing too many insulin, but your body does not know about it because you're insulin resistant or you're producing too little insulin. So what it does is it increases the production of male hormones in your body called androgens. And these androgens are responsible for weight gain. Simple yet uh, 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 very complicated. So I've, I hope I've simplified it for 
all of you. So, so uh, in, in, in natural, just think of it as as, as a male hormone uh, in, in females responsible for weight gain. Again, uh, it's a hormonal condition. What you can do to uh, lose weight. So how you can lose weight with PCOD. So the first thing I would encourage you to do is start exercise in the morning. Uh, people with PCOD that I've worked with and, and I've got maximum response, training responses, you know, working in the working out in the morning and just wake up, have a cup of coffee, tea, eat something and immediately start training. I'm not too sure. I'm pretty sure uh, that you are working, you're a working profession, you have family responsibilities for you to work out in the evening, maybe challenges, maybe challenging. So uh, why to, uh, and, and what it does is it actually makes you skip a lot of your, a lot of workout sessions. So you may want to train in the morning to A, it'll make you more consistent to your body's response to training will be a lot higher. Number two, please switch to a low carb diet. You really don't need carbs in your body because people with PCODs don't utilize or, or, or metabolize carbs too well because your body is insulin resistant, does not know what to do with too much of food. That is simply the, the, the take of insulin is. So you can't eat uh, heavy, uh, dense carb food. So you gotta switch to a low carb diet. And you got to do both strength and cardio together. You can't just say that, you know what, I'm only going to run for hours or I'm only going to do elliptical, I'm only going to do cycling. No, I understand you need to lose 15 to 20 kilos. You also need to hit the gym. I'm, I'm, you mentioned that you are going to the gym, but you're also 15 to 20 kgs heavier is what you told me. I hope you've been monitored, right? Because if you're heavy, chances of you uh, getting injured are also heavy, uh, are also heavy, you know, are higher. So you may want to tell your trainer or whoever is training you to take extra care uh, care of you because uh, uh, you really you you're at a stage you know your bones are very susceptible because you're heavy uh, you may injure yourself so take good care of it but in terms of your program do a blend of both strength and cardio together and please this is my humble request you do not follow any diet plans you know those severe crash diets you know you know lose seven kilos in four days or ten kilos in ten days no they don't work for you people with pc what is though they do, though you will lose weight but after 10 days when you go off that crash diet the weight gain is going to be very bad for you so you do you really don't want to be in that situation with the yo-yo effect which i've covered in my previous videos answering somebody else's query that uh, you lose weight temporarily, but again, the weight comes right back. So what's the point of having that weight loss in the first place? You may want to add whey protein. Since you do go to the gym, you may want to add uh, whey protein because you're going to be minimizing your carbs or lowering your carbs. You may want to dabble with some whey protein and there are plenty of whey protein options available in the market. And yes, women can have whey protein one scoop after their workout. It is beneficial. It will not bloat you. It will not add any weight onto your body. Uh, you haven't talked about smoking, uh, but uh, smoking is not good. I'm not going to talk about the the <laughs> the side effects of smoking, but people with PCOD smoking is bad news. So you really want to stay away from uh, any of these smoking habits that you may have. So these are some of the things that I would do if I were you. Uh, I hope uh, uh, this helps you. Uh, and once again, my sincere apologies for uh, for replying to you a little late, uh, but I hope you 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 got your answers. Uh, for any one of you who have any questions for me, uh, please feel free to write. I run a small YouTube channel, which is going to be flashed on your screen and also on Facebook. Any any question related to fitness, health, supplements, I'm, I'm happy to answer those questions via video blog of mine. So until we meet again, see you.